It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Friday, the 15th of July. I'm James Spam. So far, showers and storms and no show, but we still could see a few forming this evening. Now, what about rain chances over the weekend? Let's dive in there and talk about it. As we typically do, there's the water vapor satellite view. You can see a little trough dipping down in through here, uh, and that weakness typically leads to a number of showers and storms, but so far, not today. We often talk about summer convection being a great mystery, and that's the case. Uh, that's the radar at 213. Nothing, but still, we could see some strong storms forming in coming hours over especially the uh, northern third of the state. The weakness in the ridge allowing temperatures to come down today. Look at that. Most everybody in the 80s. In fact, uh, the only site in this part of the state at 90 is the Shelby County Airport. Uh, Birmingham, 88. Tuscaloosa, 86. And the fact that we're not in the 90s is one reason we don't have convection today. That is limiting the instability. Around the nation, very pleasant up north. Temperatures only in the 60s and 70s. Parts of the Great Lakes region. And across the deep south, about seasonal. And, of course, where we are, they're below average. There's the watch warning map. Things are relatively quiet around the nation at mid-afternoon, but uh, things could heat up later. This is the convective outlook, and we've got this marginal risk all the way from Montana to North Carolina. The enhanced risk is over western Kansas. In Alabama, there is a marginal risk in a rather odd shape. Uh, from uh, Sumter County north and up into North Alabama. That includes uh, Gadsden and Huntsville and Florence. And, of course, we could see a storm anywhere. It's summer in Alabama. But uh, over the northern and western part of the state, that storms that do form might produce strong winds and maybe some hail over the next few hours if they can form. Tomorrow, a slight risk, the standard risk up north. We have a marginal risk for much of Alabama. Same thing. It's not going to rain everywhere. Where storms form, they could pack a punch. And on day three, which is Sunday, a risk of severe weather well to the north, uh, Des Moines, Milwaukee, uh, down this way, maybe a few storms, but organized severe weather not expected. Rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning, about one inch for most. In the tropics, same old story, you know, a very large amount of dry air coming off the African deserts, covers the Atlantic Basin, so no tropical issues around here anytime soon. All right, model fans, what about the weekend? Here we go. This is the GFS, the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And again, a nice little weakness in the in the heat ridge down here. And uh, again, uh, we'll expect a mix of sun and clouds with highs, let's say low 90s in most spots. And if we can reach the low 90s, we'll see scattered storms about, especially tomorrow afternoon. Very typical summer day. Same thing Sunday, showers and storms may be a little fewer in number. Low 90s, maybe mid 90s in spots. This is Monday of next week. And again, you know, we struggle to forecast convection in summer hours in advance, much less days in advance. But clearly we'll have some risk of scattered storms Monday. Highs 90 to 95. And that's going to be the story for most of next week. This is Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, partly sunny, a few spots getting a storm. And this is a week from today, Friday the 22nd. We're watching that big old nasty 597 heat bubble. Uh, the core is west of the state. We're on the periphery of that. Uh, that would mean the hotter temperatures over northwest Alabama. They might make a run at 100 toward the end of next week, but I certainly think upper 90s a possibility and, and looks relatively dry if that happens to verify this is the end of the forecast period, Monday the 25th. And again, we've got ridging all across the deep south. Looks pretty classic summery there with maybe a storm in spots. We'll check the numbers. Uh, very good agreement now with the GFS and the uh, European. That's the GEFS ensemble. You can see upper 90s potentially in about a week. And the same thing on the European. It's got upper 90s. So pretty hot summer weather coming up. About 7 to 10 days from now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. My next video here will be Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates here. The videos tomorrow and Sunday. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.